questions? Um, you know, again, but under the circumstances, I thought our guys handled the um, the environment well. I thought they handled the um, the situation that we're in really well. Um, we played hard. I don't think we flinched um, defensively. I thought our red zone defense was outstanding. Um, held Georgia a bunch of field goals there early to keep the score down. And um, offensively, we, we had a couple good plays, and then we would get a get behind the chains and um, shoot ourselves in the foot right there. But um, you know, again, uh, played a great team. Uh, not only do they have great players, they they have superior coaches um, that are tremendous guys, and they're good friends of mine. But they're really good coaches, and their guys play hard for them. Um, and, and and again, I'm um, I'm mighty happy for the program that Coach Smart has built, and. Um, we appreciate the opportunity to play, and we'll take some of the good things that we did and we'll move forward with it and clean up a few bad things, and hopefully um, this will prepare us as we head back into um, FCS play next week. Coach, speaking of which, I mean, it's you faced Coach Smart here in similar circumstances about five years ago, so that story's been told, but what is it like? I mean, what's your general feedback coming back and facing, you know, someone who you could say is a pupil of yours from – Back, well, back then. Well, well, let me say this. He's not a pupil of mine by any stretch. I wish I could claim that. Um, you know, we were, um, you know, 23 years ago, I was 26, and Coach Muschamp was 25, and, and, and Coach Smart was 24. And, you know, I was the head coach, but I coached the offense. Those two guys coached the defense. We only had five coaches. And um, so those guys, man, they, they were good coaches way before they got to Valdosta. They just had the opportunity to shine right there and move on their career. So um, we've been good friends since then, and um, you know um, appreciate Kirby and them holding it down there at the end. And um, you know I think they got a fine football team, one of the best I've ever played or coached against in my career. So um, you know, like I said earlier, not only do they have good players, they're very well coached, and they play hard for their coaches. Describe there at the end the the 12 minutes in the fourth quarter. Um, was was that a did you, did you and Kirby discuss that, or how did that result um, well, exactly? Well, their, their director of football operations and, and, and our director of football management were, were texting throughout the game due to, you know, there's a, you know, supposedly a lot of inclement weather. You know, we were concerned about that coming into the day. Um, you know, as of yesterday, it was questionable whether we would have got to play the game. And, um, and so there was a threat of some, some oncoming lightning, so we just both agreed to – to shorten the fourth quarter there and um, be able to get the game in um, before, before we had any delays. Georgia does a lot of things real well. Obviously, there's a reason why they're the second ranked team in the country. But what did you see today? Like, if you could point out one, maybe two things that really, really, you know, sticks out, what would you say? Well, you, you know, you, you, you win championships with great defense, and, um, and, and they're very talented over there, but they're always in the right place. Um, and, and, and they do such a good job of mixing their blitzes and their stunts, um, you know, in to keep you off balance and, and, and really not know where they're coming from. So um, they do a great job of that. And then the other thing is, you know, uh, Stetson Bennett, I'm a huge fan of Stetson. I think he's one of the top quarterbacks in the country um, that sometimes they get as much credit as he deserves. But one thing that he does so well is he has tremendous playmakers around him. Um, but he gets the ball to them where they can make yards after the catch. And um, sometimes that's very difficult to, to do um, when you're in the SEC and you play a lot of like people each and every week. So um, I think, you know, between those two things, they, they got a good football team. You don't need me to tell you that. You already know that. But um, they play extremely hard and they got a great culture. And that's the, um, something that Coach Smart has built since he's been here, especially since the last time we played him. Okay. Appreciate it, guys. Thank, Thank you, you Coach. Y'all right. have a good, good luck to you guys this season.